Hello, thanks a lot for stopping by How To Cook Great. Now if you like what you see, there's over 3,000 other cooking videos on our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. Okay, let's get on with this one. Hello, how are you doing? So today we're going to make this eggplant and potato curry. It really is super healthy, vegetarian, and this one is vegan. Welcome back to How To Cook Week. Okay, so look, we're going to get straight in on this one today. So I've got some oil in here. I've got, you know, like a centimeter or so of oil. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could use something different. What we're going to do is we've got some potatoes here that we're going to pop in. These are quite large. We're going to get them all in and we want to just fry them around gently. We're not going to be on a massive, massive heat. We don't want to kind of just burn them because like I say they'll burn on the outside and be really hard on the inside. So a nice kind of medium heat. And I've got like three cups. That's like three cups or four cups of potatoes. And then we're going to add cumin seeds. Just two teaspoons of that. Medium heat, we're going to just throw them around in the pan for maybe about five or so minutes. Okay, so you can see these potatoes have got a lovely colour on them. They're still really massively hard in the middle. But we're going to be cooking them a bit more later, but we have given them a nice little bit of flavour. Off goes the heat. So we're going to take the potatoes out now, set them aside, and we're going to use this oil again, but reduce it down by about 70%. We don't need all that, it's way too much, but it has got some lovely flavour in it. So let me get these out, and then we can move on. Okay, so you can see that we've now got our potatoes here. Eggplants and tomato. In volume, you can see I've roughly got equal amounts. Now I'm using these type of eggplants, they're a nice little tiny one. You can just get a regular size one, you know, the kind of bigger sort of size one and chop it how you want. That's probably three decent sized tomatoes, but like I say, roughly equal amounts in volume. One cup of onions, one tablespoon of garlic ginger, quite a lot of chili I'm going with today, you could reduce that down if you want. Two teaspoons of Kashmiri chili powder or chili powder you have, two of coriander and one of turmeric. Now I'm not putting cumin in this today but if you wanted you could let's get back to the cooker right so we've reduced the oil down significantly still got those lovely seeds in there the cumin seeds we're going to drop in one cup of onion and again I'm back on the heat I'm just above a medium heat we're now going to add in the garlic ginger paste which is a 50 50 mix of garlic and ginger you can buy it in stores or make it yourself. We make our own one because we use huge amounts of it here, of course. Right, above medium heat, about three or four minutes, keep this moving. Fabulous. I'm gonna add some salt. And today I'm adding black pepper. I want a nice peppery flavor in that. I don't usually put black pepper in many of my curries. We're now gonna add in one teaspoon of turmeric and two of chili powder and coriander. Look at that, that's beautiful. And then we're gonna go in with the tomato. Now try and use a nice ripe, juicy tomato because we want this to cook down and give us some you know, water from it, make a nice gravy or masala. So this is probably gonna be about five or six minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. We're probably gonna add a bit of water anyway. But yeah, cook these down nicely first. So you can see that I've got loads of moisture from my tomatoes. That's because I used really ripe, juicy tomatoes. If you didn't, don't worry. What you wanna do is make sure that they're cooking down really beautifully, and as you can see, they are. Right, very simply, we're gonna drop back in our potatoes which are, you know, really very hard in the center. And then we're gonna drop in our eggplants. Now just, if you're gonna use eggplants like me, what I've done is I just cut a cross, just a little cross in them, because if you put them in whole, they can explode and burst. So we're now gonna drop them all in. We're now gonna add fresh chili, and like I say, I've got quite a lot here. You can adjust that 
if you want. Now we're going to add some water. I mean, you'll have to adjust this how you like, depending on your moisture you've got from your tomatoes. And then we're going to go on just below a medium heat and we're going to go for about 15 minutes and we're going to stir it every now and then. Beautiful. Okay, that is looking absolutely wonderful. You can see that it's reduced down and it's done its job. It's a beautiful, thick, lovely masala. Check that for salt. If you wanted a little sprinkle of garam masala powder in there to finish it off, I'm not gonna be doing that today. Let me get that on a plate. And there you go, that really is really super delicious. One of my favorites. Now I've just served that with some cilantro or coriander just on top around the edge there. Absolutely beautiful, healthy, vegetarian, vegan, super tasty. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Tugalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love.